much if you want. Shut up. It's not on me to change. It's on you and your colonizer mindset. So you get the fuck all out of my face. face. You now, you white lady. You white lady. And as angry as you are. Get out of my face. And because I'm done with this conversation. Then you'd be walking you away. You fucking colonizer. You know there's work to be done here. It's not on me. It's on you now. and your people. I'm not taking any fucking... I'm not taking any directions from a white lady. Everyone needs to hear how angry you are, but it's not about this. The United States, 4 or 5% of the world's population, still uses 25% of the world's resources. You outsource production to China, and then you say China is the carbon polluter. China's producing your buckets. China's producing your nuts and bolts. China's producing your phones. Try to produce it in your own countries and see your carbon emissions rise. You love lecturing us because you have a colonial mentality. Then there are colonial structures and institutions. You lend us money and every time you lend us money, which is our money, which is our money, every time the International Monetary Fund comes to our societies and they tell us, here's the money we are giving you, we are giving you, no, it's our money. You give us our money back as debt and then you lecture us about how we should live. Table. Yeah, man, so me and the brother, we're gonna do a video going into that, those two videos that you were seeing in the beginning. So, like, as we've seen in the scripture, as we've seen in the two videos, you don't, you don't even have to, you know, we don't have to, we don't have to explain what these nations are, are starting to feel. All right, they've been feeling that wrath of the so-called white man, but now they start to be more, more, uh, more open. You see, now they're starting to be more open with it. All right, these nations are starting to be more, more uh, open to the fact that they have been deceived, all right? Let me get this right quick. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get one. That's well, the here, If you want to, but I want to get this right quick. All right, all right. Uh, let me get this right quick. All right, because Esau, for so long, has been so good. You know, he's been so good at hiding the fact that he is the devil that nobody really believed it. You know, nobody really wanted to question him with his authority that he had all over the earth. Because they, 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 you know, these people are carnal. You know, everybody's carnal. When they see somebody have power, when they see somebody have authority, I mean, they kind of think this man, you know, he's blessed in some type of way. Yeah, Esau is blessed. But guess what, man? His blessing is coming out of power, man. All right? The so-called white man received a blessing from the so, from, uh, from our, our forefather Isaac, all right? Which Esau is Jacob's brother, you see? But well, Esau has got that blessing to have the fatness of the earth, have dominion. He was going to live by the sword, all right? And everybody was going to serve him. And we're now within that so-called white man's or Esau's blessing. And everybody's figuring out that this man, he, he does nothing but live by the sword, all right? So let's go ahead and get this right quick. Verses, uh, in 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse 27. For evil shall be put out, and the seat shall be quenched. And as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which has so long been without fruit, shall set it. I mean, shall be declared. All right. So the truth, man, is being declared not only by the the, the true people of God, which is Israel, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, but also you got these other nations out here. They over here declaring. Um. You know the facts i don't know who that was in the beginning i don't know if that was an asian guy you know i don't know if he, he might have been a jake he might have been an israelite but if it don't even matter because if he was an asian he even realizes that the so-called white man is um he's a colonizer all right if you look into that word colonizer look that up right quick you know to colonize all right because you always hear about me being a colonizer Let's read this. Um, okay, so colonized definition. It says, all right, so it says this. Come to settle among and establish political control over the indigenous people of an area. All right? So that's what that means. That's what that word colonized means. You're going to come to somebody else's land. They already got their whole system set up. They already got their net. They, they got everything intact, all right? But somebody else wants to come over and take over that land that's already, um, you know, it's already inhabited, man. 
you know, they already got their little thing going on. Esau Edom, he, he just loves to go to these nations. Uh, he can't just he can't just stay stay to himself. He wants to go to everybody's nation and colonize it, man. Put put his power and his control within that land, you know. You see, that's that's hey, that's how he works. Yeah, I want to get this real quick. You know, backing up on what you were saying earlier, because you know the Most High, he allowed Esau, our so-called white man, to come into rule for a certain time. All right. And I'm gonna read this as I read with Ecclesiastes chapter three, chapter three and one. It says, to everything there was a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. I'm gonna go to verse three. A time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. So there's a there's a time and a season to every purpose under the heaven. So America was built up, all right, for a reason. All right, but you know that was just to put the Israelites into captivity. All right, that was so we could serve our time of punish punishment because we was going off against Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. But you know, because we're in the last days, the Lord He's breaking down the kingdom of Esau. All right, and now we're coming out. You see, we're gonna be coming out of, of this kingdom. All right, Babylon the Great. So as you see, all the things, all the prophecy going on in Earth, that's because Esau's rule is coming to an end. All right, and the Lord's people is actually coming back to him. So, let me go ahead and go to, uh, let me go to 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians 2 and, 2 and 3. All right, because you see, Esau, his reign is coming to an end. All right, and as we're going into the, the masses, all right, the world, all right, the, the, the Eastern nations and everybody else, they're finally understanding who Esau really is they're understanding that Esau that he he isn't all that he he you know he said he was all right he he was he was like an angel that came to all the people all right he was, he was really a, a a wolf in sheep's clothing all right but now people are understanding that this man he's really just a wolf all right he's the devil all right and he stabs you behind the back these other nations know that now you know these other nations know that like Iran you see they call it was a while back, but they called Esau, all right, the America. They called them a backstabbing nation, all right. right, right. They got up there when uh, this was back then when I forget the the general's name, but they killed uh, Halasami or whatever the name his name. Yeah, something like that. They killed him off, all right. When they started to understand what America was really about, not that they didn't know already, because there was already a, under a, a, a whole sanction, all right, for 13 years. But now that they got got out. All right, that's that's also prophecy being established so that they can get their weaponry back. All right, they can get their their ICBM, ICBM nuclear missiles back. All right, to, to bring forth here to America. But uh, I'm gonna get this real quick. Here's a uh, Psalms chapter 55 and 20. It says, "He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him." He broke in his covenants. So that's Esau. All right, Esau, he'll make all type of peace treaties and covenants with the other people, but then he'll turn around and break them. All right, right in front of them or right by, behind their back, whatever. He'll break the covenant, man. Going on, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. Mm, his words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. So again, they, they say all type of smooth words, They'll make everything sound pure and innocent and, and smooth. But behind those words, in the mind, is different. In Esau's mind, he's thinking, how can we get over on these niggas? How can we get over on these people? Like Joe Biden, he said, I, I don't know what, what way he was trying to go about this, but he said, if you don't vote for me, then you're not black. I guess that's his way of speaking smooth or whatever. But you know, everything behind the words are, are really detrimental. To the opposing you know to the opposing party you see so i also want to get this unless you got a precept going on to uh also these nations man as a whole because you know esau not even not even just the elite of esau because esau all their spirits are off you know esau as an individual he'll be this peaceful pure dude but in the corner all right in, in his heart he's really thinking all type of evil against you man all right and he's trying to figure out a way that he can get up and then 
you know, you'll, you'll pretty much be a stool for him. God, all right, you bend over on your back and he'll use your back as a footstool. All right, that's how it is. You know? God, a lot of people love to hear smooth words, man. They love to, to be seduced, you know, especially women. You know, women love to be seduced. They love to hear what's pleasing to them, man. They're, mm -hmm. they're very emotional creatures, you know, not making this about the women, but just, just the point, you know, that people, uh, on, on general, Esau has this power that he knows how to speak smooth words. He knows how to seduce the person to make them feel good. But at the end of the day, he's not really all about that, you see? He's got a whole different motive. And that's why Eve falls for Esau, man. Because what did Eve do to, what did Esau do to Eve, man? He promised Eve everything. You go back to the Garden of Eden, what did Satan say to Eve, all right? He, he basically deceived her, man, all right? And she just liked, you know, how he was coming, man. He liked, you know, basically what he was saying, all right, what he was promising her, the way he said it. That, that's exactly how this book called, that's, how, that's exactly how Esau gets you, man. Is that the way he says it? And he got that power to him, mm -hmm. all right? Um, um, you, uh, I got one real quick. Uh, here's... Sirach 12 and 11. It says, Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast uh, wiped the looking glass, and thou shalt know altogether his rust has not been altogether wiped away. So, in other words, you know, don't trust Esau. Don't trust your enemy. All right, because you have all these other nations who trust Esau. You have people individuals who've trusted Esau and then that you know Esau so-called white man he'll turn around and stab you in the back all right so you can't trust this dude because you know rust don't just go away all right you you'll find out that Esau he he will never although again he may humble himself and put on his act which he's good at he's good at pretending like he's innocent or whatnot but he'll turn around and stab you in the back that's right, that's right. I got a precept uh, a Becky chapter 2 verse 5 says behold his soul which is lifted up is not a right in him but the just shall live by faith so it says uh, you know the soul of esau which we know this prophecy is referring to the the king of babylon you see it's referring to esau edom we understand that um esau edom he is a dweller of babylon the great you see so his soul which is lifted up in him it is not upright all right and that's why he has he has no problem lying all right he has no problem backstabbing um, no problem. Us and then even these nations. Because really, the Lord, He made us as human beings to be, um, you know, we're supposed to be gods, man. Mm. And to be godly, you got to have virtues. If you right? have integrity. Yeah, integrity, virtues, you know? these type of things are um, what a real man stands by. Are right? you call yourself a real man? You must be a man of your word. You got to have integrity. And if somebody who looks at you as a real man, he's going to be like, look, I can trust him because. You know his word like he he, he should be he, he should have virtue mm -hmm. about him these all these nations all right they have virtues some 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 sort of virtue but esau edom is a one man who does not have integrity he does not have virtue he's not right you see that, that dude you gotta watch out for that damn devil watch out. that's why you know people who are deceptive you gotta watch out for those type of people man so esau edom is that same way he can't keep his word man all right he's a bastard He's a, um, he's a he's a he's a he's a bitch. He's a what's a, what's what's another word, man? He's um like a coward. Coward, man. Right. He right. says a damn coward. All right. Yeah, but it, you know it should be in the nature of a man, you know, to have integrity and to and to you you know when you use your words, you should mean them, right? When you use your words, you should mean them. However, Esau, he has absolutely no problem turning around and backstabbing. Which, which you should feel, you should feel shameful about that. But Esau, he'll backstab you, then feel good. You know, that's how you know that man is, is completely backwards. You see, he'll do it to full on nations. All right, that's this man, the nation as a whole, they're like all one. So none of them have a problem going or going behind your back, just stabbing you right in the back, man. But uh, let me go ahead and go to uh. Jeremiah chapter 51 and 5 that says, I won't say this too, man, because Esau is like you. Esau is so weak. All right. He's, he, oh, knows, that's, that's he, the he knows he's such a weak person that, that he. Stop. Just let it stop, bro. Fucking bitch. 
Uh, anyways, you know, we, Esau knows he's such a weak person that he can't he can't face you head on, man. No, he can't no. he can't play by the rules. So what he's got to do is lie. All right. Put out Libra. Yeah. So he's got he's got to tell you to your face. Uh, let's 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 play by the rules, all right? <laughs> let's keep it clean. All right. Let's not let's not do no no, no shady stuff. All the all the while he knows damn well he's got he's about to do some shady. All right. He knows that he's about to he's he's about to you know cut, uh, not not play by the rules at all. At all. So then the person thinking that this man should have integrity, you know the the nation or the people thinking that this man all right. I can. I think I can trust him. You know, that's that's the regular way that you know we should be men of our word. Mm -hmm. Esau will do something opposite. While this man is, you know, you shake his hand. You got you got in a boxing fight. You know, you're supposed to touch gloves. Yeah, yeah. Esau touches gloves, and then right when he turns around to go back to his corner, Esau gets Come him. Back. And Esau oh, gets him right in that spot. In you know, yeah, not nah, in the in the head, man. Right. Makes this man go retarded. You know. Oh. You see. Hey. Yeah, I had some. Also, your word was supposed to be important. You know, you're supposed to be a person. A man was supposed to have dignity and integrity to keep uphold his word. But you see, because the Lord, all right, his word, everything the Lord said in his word, he's going to fulfill. All right, everything will be fulfilled in the word. All right, prophecy will be fulfilled because it's the Lord's word. But he saw when he speaks, he'll, he'll speak all type of smooth words and nothing, nothing, on, in that co covenant, nothing he speaks will be fulfilled in the least bit. All right, he'll he'll do everything contrary to what he said. All right, so yeah, I just want to bring that out. But uh, according to this, all right, going on back to Jeremiah 50, 51 and six, it says, "Flee out of the Babylon and break," because as we see, prophecy is unfolding very heavily. All right, because we're only hitting one one subject on prophecy, going into how Esau, you know, people are seeing Esau being exposed all right Esau is being exposed very rapidly and exposed very broadly throughout the whole earth so that's how you know Esau is coming down and on top of that you know going into another aspect of prophecy you have um the the Russia all right it was either Russia or China their currency was the bet was doing the best in the whole world at one point all right I believe it's still doing doing good right now all right so even even with America, everything in America is just declining. Going back to us, uh, Ecclesiastes three. There's a time to build up a nation, which you know a century ago or two, this nation was being built up. It was great. You had you had, you know, great Edomite music. <laughs> you had you had Edomites doing their best, but now everything is so decrepit, backwards, perverse, and and, and foul. And everything's going down the drain okay the way this kingdom was set up it's it was set up so perversely that it can only it can only endure for a certain time which was short according to you know job chapter 5 and 20 i believe or 20 and 5 vice versa so this kingdom the way it was set up it was set up on, on consumption it was set up for people to to consume what they didn't make america according to what this dude said only produces 5% well they're 5% of the population anyway I'm not gonna get into that America their whole thing is going down pretty much all right it's like rag chapter 10 verses 30 30 the poor man is honored for his skill and the rich man is honored for his riches he that is honored in poverty how much more in riches and he that is dishonorable in riches how much more in poverty so we we know that you know, somebody who is skillful, you know, they're, they're, they're desired and they're, you know, they're, they're praised for their skill because they got talent, you know. And we know that East, uh, we know that Jake, you know, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, though we are poor in a, in a state where we don't have anything on this earth, we don't rule anything, yet the people still look up to us because of our talent, man. You see? Our talent. But Esau, all right, Esau, the so-called white man, Though he has all the riches, he owns all the buildings, he owns all the companies, all right? He got the police officers, he has the, the government officials, the governments, you see? Yet people still find a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of shit within these people 
that's not right. You see, you see that they're bland. All right, mm -hmm. they really, they really can't make it by themselves. All right, they gotta lie about everything just, just to stay relevant. You see, that's what Esau does, man. He's got, he's gotta set this whole nation Babylon up. Have all nations come to this land, especially Israelites. He got us in slavery, and then he he wants to have us in slavery because we got skill, talent, and flavor, and he wants us to spice up his society while his his bland ass sits there and takes the credit. You see, you know Esau's bland as hell, no talent, no salt, but yet yet look, man, he, he's still thriving because he's he's hiding behind everybody else. All right, he's hiding behind everybody else's shit. When this man, it, you know, he still gets, he's, the point is he still gets disrespected, man. His women still want to go after Jake, you know. They know that he can't play sports like that. You know, he's not he's not the one in the NBA. This man's not the ones playing football, all right. They're they not really doing much out here. They're not really the top singers, all right. And yet they still get disrespected. They're still the most least desired people on earth, even though they're, they're the richest, all right. They're still kind of the most least desired, but because they got some type of riches to them, uh, we're going to mess with you a little bit because you got money. You know, I, I, you're supposed to be the top top person on the earth. Right. But um, if they didn't have none of that, like, nobody will fuck with them, man. You cool. see? Like, nobody will fuck with no Edomite at all, man. You right. wouldn't be cool, you know, if, if y'all wasn't, you know, the, the face of, um, of everything. You see? You'd have to go back to their juniper bushes, you know? Yeah. And, 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 you know... <laughs> They'd have to look at, at society from afar, you see? <laughs> According to Joe, but I'm going back to um, <laughs> Jeremiah 51 and 7. It says, Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. All right, because, you know, America, Babylon the Great would be, Babylon the Great would be exposed okay everything again like we're going into everything that they that they've done everything you know their politics and the way of their their system the way of their life everything has been exposed and now the nations of the east all right they're mad and they're going to retaliate for all the things that they put upon these other nations so you see all all these things are according to prophecy you see so america according to job all right i believe it was uh 20 and 5 let me just get that real quick all right this place is only going to be here for, for a short time all right and we're seeing the end of, of of this kingdom all right we're seeing the end of of a great kingdom all right some somewhat of a great kingdom babylon the great but in jeremiah chapter 20 and 5 the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment so this kingdom will only be is only standing up for a moment and it's short and again we're seeing the end of the kingdom right now all right i want to get one more here's isaiah isaiah chapter 47 and one this says come down and sit in the dust of virgin daughter of Babylon sit on the ground there is no throne O daughter of the Chaldeans for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate take the mill stone and grind mill uncover thy locks make bare the leg uncover the thigh pass over the rivers thy nakedness shall be uncovered yea thy shame shall be seen I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man so again, America's exposed, all right? All of their, their clothes are being taken off, you see? And they should be ashamed, all right? When they went and backstabbed all these other nations, they should have be, be, been ashamed then, all right? But again, the way these, these Edomites are all backwards, th this whole nation's all backwards, so they, they, really, they really don't care about all the things they have done. They're proud of all the things they have done. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get that too, all right? But, you know, the Lord, he's going to have major judgments come upon America, Babylon the Great. You see, because all the, all the iniquity that they have done, all the backwardness that they have done. So one more. Because, you know, they're being exposed. One more. 
So here's Isaiah 10. Um, give me one second. It's 10 and 7. This is talking about Babylon the Great Esau. I'll start at 6. I will send him against an hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath. I will give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the street. And that's talking about Israel. All right, the Lord, because Israel is going off, the Lord would take Esau and, and, and bring them against the Israelites so that we would be in captivity, which we are now. Howbeit he meant it not so, neither doth his heart think so, but it is in his heart to destroy and cut off nations, not a few. All right. It's a lot here. But yeah, man, you know, Esau, he, he was put in this position and he believes that, you know, that he made it himself, all right? He made this whole thing himself, but he didn't, all right? He was just put in this position for a time and season. That's about it, though. Yeah, God, God. So I got Second Edge of Six. Verse 9, <clears throat> 2nd Andrew 6 and 9, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. All right, man, so you know, you got Esau, Edom being the end, and then Jacob, so got, uh, you know, Negro, Latino, Native American, uh, they're going to be the beginning of it that followed, meaning the next kingdom to come on earth is going to be the Israelites, which will be a righteous rulership. All right, so we understand Esau's kingdom is crumbling, right? The nations are finding this stuff out. The Israelites are waking up. Alright. The times are waxing old. Prophecy is being fulfilled. Alright. The days are shortening, right? Things are speeding up out here, man. Alright, the, the, the world is not how it used to be. 10, 20 years ago, you can you can tell that the world is not like it's not vibrant anymore, man. The vibration has gotten so low. I mean people are just depressed for no reason out here, alright? That's how, that's how much wickedness is being pushed out on the earth Is that people are just depressed out here for no reason, you see? Alright? So, we understand from, 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 from the food, alright? To the radiation, to the, to the things that we watch, to the things that we listen to To the democracy, all the way to the lives Everything is being exposed, alright? On a grand scale, starting off with the men of Yahweh Hashem And then also these nations are starting to pick up on it all right, they're coming about that witchcraft and all, uh, about, uh, up out of that sorcery, and the truth is being made manifest on, our, on the planet Earth. Now, I want to get this last piece of Second Ezra chapter 6 and 27 For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish, and corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which has so long been without fruit, shall suddenly be declared. So, all right, man, so this truth is being declared. All right. So everything's coming to light. We're at the end of this kingdom. We're at the end of Babylon the Great. All right? And things are only going to intensify before the end comes, you see? So, um, you got any precepts? No. All right, man. So we want to give all praises to the Most High God and Son. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Kavadash. Okay? Most High God of Israel is Yahweh. And His only begotten Son, Yahusha. Till next time we say DTA. And Shalom to Israel.